Hello, friends. Welcome to the Bible in five minutes or less. This is Proverbs 30, verses 7 through 9. We'll go through it quickly. Verse 7. Two things I ask of you, O Lord. Do not refuse me before I die. So obviously this is important. He's only asking God for two things. He doesn't want to be refused before death. So this is a serious prayer. Verse 8. Keep falsehood and lies far from me. Man. Falsehood, lies, the devil. He's the father of lies. We want nothing to do with him. Light and darkness have no, have no, uh, have no fellowship with each other. We want nothing to do with his ways. So we want to keep falsehood and lies far from me. And now the rest of this verse into verse 9 is, is two of my favorite verses. Watch this. This is beautiful. Give me neither poverty nor riches, but give me only my daily bread. My question to you today, do you have your daily bread? I can honestly say throughout my life, I'm fortunate. Not everybody can say this. I've always had my daily bread. My needs have always been met. And in that, I'm content. And that's where true contentment lies. If, you, if you're in this country, the 5% of the world's population that are most blessed, we, we know nothing of true poverty and true loss like the rest of the world does. 5% of the world's population, we, we use up 30, 30 to 50% of the world's goods. So we are a blessed people. So again, give me neither poverty nor riches, but only my daily bread. I don't want to be poor, nor do I want to be rich. I just want my daily bread. And it's going to give the reasons why. Do you notice how the rich are not happy? The Bible says that a rich man's wealth permits him no peace. Everybody wants to be rich. Oh, if I just had more money. That's the deceitfulness of wealth. Jesus called it out. Watch what he says here about the rest of this. Give me, give me neither poverty nor riches, but give me only my daily bread. Otherwise, I may have too much and disown you and say, who is the Lord? Or I may become poor and steal and so dishonor the Lord. Or dishonor my God. Or dishonor the name of my God. Otherwise, I ha may have too much and disown you and say, who is the Lord? Jesus said, it is hard for a rich man to be saved. Hard. Why? Because once, once you have too much, once you, once you have an abundance of wealth, an abundance of wealth, the Bible says that a rich man uh, sees his wealth as an unscalable wall. You become self, S-E-L, self-sufficient. Why do I need God? I've got all I need. Why do I need to pray? My bank account is full. Solomon, who God gave the ultimate wisdom to, had more money. He's the richest man that's ever lived, and he fell away from God. God gave him all the money. He gave him all the girls. He gave him all the wisdom, and he fell away from God. He get, God gave him everything, and he fell away. So, otherwise I may have too much. Disown you say, who is the Lord? Solomon became an idolater. He said, who is the Lord? Or I may become poor and steal and so dishonor the name of my God. Hey, if you become poor and steal, you're not honoring God. You're not, you're not going to honor God. So, so if you, listen to me, if you have your daily bread, if your needs are met, your daily needs, you're blessed. You're blessed. Thank God for your daily bread. Give me neither poverty nor riches, but give me my daily bread. Give me neither poverty nor riches, but give me neither, give me my daily bread. Keep falsehood and lies far from me. These things I ask of you, these two things I ask you, do not refuse me before I die. Psalms 30, verse 7 through 9. Read and heed. Man, read and heed. Be content find paul says i'm content in every and any situation whether well fed or, or hungry whether naked or clothed find your contentment in jesus christ find your rest in jesus christ find your salvation and your eternal life in jesus christ alone come to complete rest enjoy your enjoying your daily enjoying your god's daily provision to you your daily bread in love with God, in love with His Son, by His Spirit, and rejoicing Him every day, and thanking Him for your daily bread. Have a blessed day.